Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Rio. I am a graduate student from Cultural Studies. I would like to present in my paper, the which the title is Reimmigration of Ex-Refugee Laos in Indonesia, Defining Their Identity from a Nostalgic Space of the Next Generation. Me, as a first uh, order, Rio, and second, as the, the second uh, order, Professor Dr. Lila Wati Kurnia, SSMA. This analysis will be divided in five sections. First, introduction. Second, the method of research. The third is uh, the corpus. The fourth is analysis. And the last is the conclusion of this research. Lao Communist Revolution 1975 brings great suffering to Lao people, making more than 400,000 people flee the country. This refugee aim is to get a better life for living, caring about their life and the future of their children, which they cannot get in their own country, Lao. These refugees are spread across the world, mostly uh, from Western countries and some from neighboring countries. These refugees are not only adults, but also from children. This focus of analysis is about the next generation of ex-refugees that live in Indonesia. The research aim is to identify the identity of the next generation ex refugee that live in Indonesia. Next is the method of the analysis. I'll be using ethnography as my method of the analysis. By storytelling, we can get more information and the detail for this research. This research will be consist of three respondents. First, Ms. Hai, a teacher of Indonesian language in Indonesian Embassy in Laos, 49 years old, 15 years in Indonesia as a third generation. Ms. S, a director of a Sky Company in Laos, 48 years old, 19 years old in Indonesia as a second generation. And the last is Mr. Yiti, as an employee, 53 years old, 30. 33 years old in Indonesia and as a second generation. Next, this is the data that I got from the three respondents. When I asked concerning what's the de definition of home, this is what they say. The three of them, or the three respondents, refer to their place where they live in Indonesia when I asked about the definition of home. For example, in Ms. Ai, he re she refers to Bogor, Mr. A.S. refers to Bukit Tinggi, and Mr. Yiti refers to Depok, where, where they live when they are in Fuji in Indonesia. From this data, we can also get there is some emotional feeling concerning and relating to the place where they live in Indonesia. They find peace when they live there. From the data in above, we can relate that nostalgic space has an important role on defining someone's identity, especially to from the next generation ex refugee Laos that had lived in Indonesia. This analysis using Budianta home as a, as a nostalgic moment and Somerville home as a group. From this research and from the data above, we can say that Identity refers to the place where they live in Indonesia. Their moment, their moment, their, their nostalgic, the good moments that they had before define who they are. As a result, uh, home is, isn't just identified as where the, the, the country belongs, where the par parents are, but as a structure of feeling. A feeling concerning safety, prosperity that refers 
to the place where they live. This research also finds out that the Indonesian embassy in Laos has an important role on preserving or uh, defining Indonesian identity on the three respondents using the work of memory in Dewis 2010. They preserve their identity by uh, the space that are created by the Indonesian embassy, which is from material culture, for example, Garuda Pancasila, and the Indonesian event or the Indonesian national event that are held by the embassy. By the work of memory, they define themselves as Indonesia by relating those past experiences where they live in Indonesia, the past where they can get peace, harmony, and prosperity, define themselves as an identity. The next point is concerning the return of Laos refugees back to their homeland. As we know, there are some effort done by the Lao government to bring back uh, the Lao refugee to their homeland. One of them is consisting uh, making a new better life uh, concerning economic in Laos. This effort uh, uh, make some of the refugees return to their homeland. Meanwhile, uh, by returning back to their own country, there are some negotiations concerning identity that should be negotiated uh, from this refugee because they bring a culture back to their host country to Laos. One of them that, that I find in this uh, research is concerning the use of language. Even though the three respondents define themselves as Indonesia, they cannot use Indonesian language in Laos in the aspect of uh, social space in Laos. So they have to uh, adapt to it. This adaptation bring, bring the conclusion that uh, they place Indonesian language as a second language than the use of Laos language. Meanwhile, there are some, uh, some identity that are formed by the government. The government that I mentioned is concerning LPDR. Uh, from what one of them is that I find that is concerning the New Year celebration in Laos. The government changed the meaning of the the essence of the New Year celebration in Laos, which is uh, they find these three respondents of the research. Indicate there's no indication that they said the importance of or the meaning of the New Year celebration of Laos that define them. As we know, this is a part of the assimilation program held by the LPDR for forgetting the past memories from the New Year celebration in Laos. But the research indicates that the agenda of the LPDR succeed on the three respondents since they live uh, their childhood abroad, having few knowledge to their home country, Laos, and not being a part in the role of the country for a long time. In general, this paper tells a story about a group of people uh, that are forced to leave the country and live to another country to save their own life. The emotional feeling between these two countries, Laos and Indonesia, would define themselves as a part of identity. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Stay healthy.